Hi, buddy. Oh, do you want belly rubs? Yeah, nobody can see you. Can you come here? Can you come up here? Oh, good boy. You're such a big ham. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Haley. This is Mackie. This is Robin Haley. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing five things you need to know before owning a Shep Ski or a Shepherd Husky. So if you are new around here, if you didn't know, Mackie here is a Shepherd Husky. He also has some other breeds mixed in, but mostly Shepherd Husky. And we rescued him from a shelter when he was about three months old. So we've had him since then. He's now about a year and a half. And he is like our whole world, obviously. I share a ton of videos about him and about like Shepskis and dogs and stuff like that on this channel, on his YouTube channel, and then also on his TikTok and his Instagram. I'm always sharing stuff. So be sure to follow us over there for more information and like daily, insight into his life but i decided to make a video of five things you need to know before owning a chef ski because i get a lot of questions about that and so i decided to just put it into one video so i'm gonna go through this list obviously um does that feel good okay so I'm gonna go through this list. Obviously, this isn't everything you need to know. Some of this can definitely be general, generalized to a lot of dogs. And this is also just in our experience. Like I said, Mackie does have other breeds mixed in with him. Um, and he's also like very unique. So all Shepskis are different. Honestly, every Shepski that we've encountered either on like social media or in person at dog parks, they all look different. So I'm sure that they all have different personalities, but I feel like a lot of this can be generalized to all Shepskis or even like Shepherds and Huskies, um, you know, themselves or any dog with those breeds in them. So that's why I wanted to share it today. First thing is they are very high energy. I know it doesn't look like it right now considering he's a big ham cuddling, but they are very high energy. Um, they need a lot of exercise. So if you're gonna get a chef ski or really any big dog, medium sized dog or any dog, but especially for like the bigger sized dogs, you need to be prepared to exercise them. Just taking them on walks is great and that is plenty, but you have to be willing and able to take them on walks daily. Obviously there's some days it can't happen and that's totally fine, but just be prepared that they will need a lot of exercise. When he is not exercised enough, he turns into a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, and it's just cause he didn't have enough exercise that day and has a lot of pent up energy. Dogs, if you think about it, they are sleeping most of the day, especially if you go to work or like myself, I work from home. So he sleeps most of the day. So of course in the evenings, he has a lot of energy, especially if I didn't walk him before work. So I personally try to walk him in the morning and then either my fiance will take him on like a bike ride or a run after work, or we'll do like a family walk in the evening after dinner just to get his energy out. We walk at least a mile every day. For a while we were walking two miles um, and then that we kind of like faded away from that. Then he was actually neutered last week. So he's been having to take it easy on like the exercise and he has had so much energy pent up. So it's been really hard for him and for us because we want to exercise him and see him like play and stuff like that, but he, we have to stop him from doing it. But that's besides the point. If you're planning to get a Shep Ski or any big or medium sized dog, make sure that you're gonna be able to exercise them. Um, it honestly changes their behavior so much when you can exercise them because they don't have all this like pent up energy that's just sitting there because that often will lead to bad behaviors and stuff like that. So be prepared that you're gonna need to exercise them quite a bit. Like I said, we walk him like a mile and that's usually plenty to keep him through the day and then we'll either play or go on a walk in the evening or go to the dog park or something like that and that will get that evening time energy out. Number two, they shed. <laughs> you can't, I'm sure you can't see it in the video, but he is shedding right now. Um, he actually does not shed as much as I thought he was going to and I think it's because well, actually, I don't know why it is, but he really doesn't. He sheds the most in the summertime. So in like the winter, fall, he only sheds a little bit. 
but in the summertime he sheds a lot. So just be prepared that they will shed. Um, there will be hair on your black clothes or any clothes, but it'll show up on like all of your black like shirts and leggings on your couch. There's gonna be like hairballs and dust bunnies all around your house and be prepared to get a good brush. I will link the one that we use down in the description box below. It has worked really, really well for us. It's a Ferminator brush, but it's not one of the undercoat rakes. Those are really good for Huskies. And he does have more of the Husky fur, but we found the undercoat rake was kind of just like pulling out way more hair than what needed to come out. So we found this other Ferminator brush that works really well for him. He really likes it. It like feels good um, when we're brushing him and it gets a ton of hair off. So we've found that one to be really, you know, successful for us, I guess is the word. And just be prepared to brush them like at least a couple times a week. We try to brush them every day. It really doesn't happen and we really need to get back to doing it every day. Um, it would be best if you can brush them every day, but just be prepared. You will need to take care of that and there will be fur all over and you can't blame them. It's not their fault. Another thing we do is like, We'll take him outside and just like scratch him all over and get a whole bunch of hair off and that helps with the shedding too, especially in like the high shedding season. So just be prepared for that. Okay, number three, the third thing to know before getting a chef ski, they are really freaking smart. I mean, this guy figured out how to open a door. He's figured out how to hop onto our island. He's figured out how to get to in like different parts of our backyard. Like he is very smart and knows how to get out of things he doesn't want to be in. He got out of his cone that we put on him after being neutered. So they are very smart. They're also like, they know he is so stubborn and knows when he's doing something wrong and we'll like give him a command and he'll just look at us like, no, I know what you're saying, but I don't want to do it. So they are very, very smart. You need to be, be sure that like your house is proofed for them that your yard is proofed for them. So like we have our whole backyard like is fenced off and we make sure that he can't get out. And we also have a GPS collar on him so that if he were to get out, we'd be able to track him. Um, I did a whole review on the GPS collar. So I will leave that video on one of the corners so you guys can check that out because it is like the best thing because he could escape if he wanted to. So there are definitely like ways to make sure that they don't but just be prepared that you will have a very smart dog that will know what they're doing and will be able to like get away with things that they want to going off of that you are going to need to train them because they're so smart and also because they like to be alpha so both breeds especially huskies are like known for being the alpha the leader of the pack and that's just how they're bred again it's not their fault it's not their fault that they want to be in control that's just like how they've always been but you need to be prepared to do that training with them to teach them that no they're not the leader of the pack in this household when we first got him um after the first weekend when we were home with him all weekend my fiance went to work and then that next day he when he went to work and then my fiance rob got home mackie lost it he was like so mad and he was being really like aggressive and alpha and like trying to show us like I'm mad I'm not okay with this thankfully the shelter that we got him from was able to help us and they taught us to like basically manhandle him and like hold him upside down like a baby and be like nope you're not alpha we're alpha and since then and since we started doing that it worked really well and he's figured that out there's definitely times where he still thinks that he's in charge but we just kind of like snap him back into it and he figures it out so you don't have to like, you're not hurting them. You're not being mean to them. You're just showing them, hey, I'm the one that's in charge. Dogs are pack animals. They see your, the, 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 your, the, 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 they see their owners, you as their pack and they want to protect you because that's just how they are. They're animals as like amazing and smart and adorable as they are they're animals and so they are like not bred because that's not the right word but they have just always known to protect their pack and so that's just what they're doing with you when they try to be alpha and you just have to know how to properly teach them it's okay in this environment i can handle it i'm in charge i will protect you so either doing like proper training lessons or learning about that before you get a dog i think is really beneficial because 
you really want to show them that when they're puppies because that'll that's when they're really really learning and that's how we taught him like hey you're not alpha when he was three months old and he figured that out and now he's so much better behaved not aggressive anything like that and the last thing to know before getting a chef ski is that they can be very protective this also kind of goes along with the like they're part of a pack, they're the leader of a pack, whatever, but they like to protect their owners. Like you are their pack and even if they don't see themselves as alpha, they still want to protect you, especially female owners. And this is true with a lot of dogs, they will protect their female owners like vigorously, uh, but they are protective and they can be very protective, especially around other dogs. So socializing them from the start is very beneficial. Of course, you want them to be able to go play with other dogs, behave around other dogs, like know how to interact with other dogs, and they can do really, really well with that, but you need to socialize them from the start. And that is something that we definitely started, but we could have started earlier. So that's why I'm sharing it now, because you really should do it as soon as they have all their vaccines and can safely be around other dogs. It's best to start socializing them right away. Well, perfect timing because my gardeners just started outside, so it's about to get really loud, but I hope that that was helpful. Um, if you guys have more questions about chef skis or want me to do other videos like this, please let me know down in the comments below. I love sharing all things about this little dude, so I'd love to share anything you guys want to know. I also have a playlist of all the videos we've done with him, so I'll leave that in the description box as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button, join our YouTube family so you won't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Come here, you want cuddles? Are you just being a big ham? <laughs> You're heavy. Come here. No, you're too silly. Ignore my dog baby voice.